One of the things that readers new to this edition will find, and I hope it will be a valuable edition, is that all the poems now carry a date. And the dates are sometimes surprising and often they're instructive. Um, where possible, um, without a lifetime's research, um, I have put in the date of the poem's composition, where that is very hard to ascertain the date of the date of first book publication. And this has very interesting results. For example, in the case of Sassoon, um, there are now two poems that um, flank the great change in the character of the war. In uh, November 1915, between November 1915 and March 1916, he writes a poem called The Redeemer, in which the speaker, so soon we presume, uh, sees a soldier in the trench lit by a flare um, and he's carrying planks and the speaker sees him as a figure of Christ. He says, I see that he was Christ. Christ in the trench and he's drawing on the, the famous lines from the Bible, greater love hath no man than this, than that a man lay down his life for his friends. That's what he thought in March 1916. On the 1st of July 1916, Siegfried Sassoon was in a reserve trench watching the start of the Battle of the Somme. Arguably the worst day in the whole history of British military experience, um, in the course of which 19,000 men were mown down by machine guns or killed by shells and 38,000 men were wounded. And <clears throat> one month later, Sassoon wrote a poem called Christ and the Soldier, in which <clears throat> the speaker um, comes to a, a battered crucifix in France and addresses the figure of Christ on the, on the cross and says, but be you for both sides. If I kill a man, his mother grieves. Does that come into what your story tells? And it's the most savagely bitter anti-Christian poem, almost in the language. And at the end of the poem, he says, Lord Christ, ain't you got no more to say? Bowed hung that head. And the soldier um, goes on his way thinking, um, oh Christ, when will it stop or something? Um, and the change between the speaker seeing a soldier, a sort of idealized figure of Christ, and then after the butchery on that day, saying, really, what was Christ doing allowing this to happen, um, marks the great shift between um, the sort of celebration and um, uh, perception of the soldier as a hero figure to the soldier as a poor bloody infantryman um, at the mercy of unknown powers. So the dates, I think, will be, for those who look at them carefully, are very instructive. And one of the poems that for many years, um, Herbert Asquith's poem, The Volunteer, has often been taken as a classic um, early First World War poem. It turns out it was written in 1912 which is sort of interesting. Um, and then you can see from this that the Vietnam poems, um, you can distinguish between the ones written by the stateside poems in the early years of the war, and then 10 or 12 years later, the poems by the veterans. And this helps you see the way in which the whole character of poetry has changed in the intervening period.